Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another, actually not another, welcome to the first Q&A video of this channel right here. So we have hit 500 subscribers a few days ago, so thank all of you guys for your support that you've been giving me. But anyways, I've chosen 10 questions for the Q&A, let's make it short and sweet. And yeah, 10 questions, just randomly picked some. And those, I, I picked actually I don't really pick them at random um I picked them for like um like the quality of the questions not really you know I, I don't know how to phrase it but okay uh I've uh I would okay so I picked them uh because I wanted to answer them uh in this you know Q&A video like this so you guys will know better about this channel and about um, you know myself but you know there's not really a, a lot of questions about myself there's in fact only one question about myself uh, out of like I don't know like 20 questions or so but anyways let's hop into the Q&A right here so the first um, the first question is um, okay so uh, here's a disclaimer right here if I pronounce your names wrongly I'm very sorry you know I'm not the almighty Wikipedia so I can't really I'm not the almighty dictionary as well so I can't really pronounce names perfectly but anyways um, I will try to pronounce it correctly so um, the first question is from Manos Sgoros whatever what inspired you to start YouTube how long did it uh, take for you to get full mixed up medals in World Concurrent 2 so what inspired me to start YouTube it's a long story you know because, um, like, I play World Conqueror 2 a lot on my channel. It's my main game on the channel. And at first, I was just playing it for fun. My friend introduced it to me. And I'm like, oh, hey, this game seems interesting. So, uh, I, I played World Conqueror 2 when, when I had the time to. When I had the mood to play it, of course. And, yeah. So, after that... Um, you know, I, I've actually been watching YouTube quite a bit. And so what inspired me to start YouTube is, I think because there is not really a lot of um, World Conqueror 2 videos on YouTube before I actually made my first ever World Conqueror 2 YouTube video. There is a few, but you know, there are just a few videos out there, not, not a lot. But yeah, so uh, the main reason why I wanted to start YouTube with World Conqueror 2 is so that um, I, I, feel, I hope to fill in the gap that was left, you know, because like uh, the other YouTubers, the other World Conqueror 2 YouTubers didn't really fill that in. There are a few right now, but you know, I, if I'm not wrong, I am the first person who, start, uh, who actually did the Cold War missions, which, you know, I call that as an accomplishment right there. So, um, that is the first question done right here. How long did it take for you to get full mixed up medals in World Conqueror 2? I only played in my free time, so it took me roughly about, I would say, 10 months or so. So, yeah. The second question is from Technical Sam. Will you ever play World Conqueror 3 or Glory of Generals 2? And for World Conqueror 2, you should play Energy Crisis Italy. So, World Conqueror 3 and Glory of Generals 2... They cost money for me, so I'm not going to be playing that. And the reason why I have chose this question to put in this video is because I get a lot of questions saying, Hey, can you ever play this game? Like, uh, World Conqueror 3, for example. The thing is, it costs money. Not everything is free in this world. And in fact, most of the things cost money. money. And, you know... So, the thing is, I can't really do much when it comes to buying stuff because, you know, I don't have a lot of money. Not, it's not like I want to spend it on games as well. So, yeah, that's the thing right here. So, I won't be playing World Conqueror 3. I won't be playing Glory of Generals 2 and other games like, I don't know, Minecraft Pocket Edition, which costs like freaking 9 bucks for me. And... Yeah, so until they become free one day, I will not, I, I, can't, I, I won't even download them, I won't even play it. Yeah, so, and for World Conqueror 2, you should play Energy Crisis Italy. Okay, 
Maybe next time. So the next question is from Jin Heng. Eng, have you ever considered making a let's play? Yes, in fact, I have tried to record it, but I failed horribly because of stupid Bandicam, you know. So, um, let's pl um, I wanted to actually do a Minecraft let's play, and now that one Minecraft 1.9.2 is out, I would like to do a Minecraft let's play, but I have very, very little time on my hand, and that means if I do Minecraft let's play, then the then I won't be able to record another uh, Walking Conqueror 2 video on the same day itself because uh, my schedule is really really packed so yeah so tell me if you want to see a Minecraft let's play so yeah and history hub right here the next question what made you want to do YouTube and will you continue it to do it for a long time so what made you want to do YouTube we have answered that because I wanted to fill in the gap that no one really filled in so um, will you continue to do it for a long time yeah, of course, uh, I will continue to do it as long as I can. And that may be good news for you guys out there and girls, of course. So the next question here is from WS Watts, aka Dub. I actually play with her, you know, I actually play Minecraft with her. You can go and check out her channel. So are you going to do any different kind of games on your channel? If so, what games are you thinking about doing next? So I actually do quite a, uh, quite a few games. Last time, I actually... Um, I very occasionally, like very rarely, filmed Clash of Clans. And ever since I lost my Town Hall 9 account, I stopped recording it until like about one month ago where I, you know, released the video MVP Wizard because I wanted to show it to you guys out there. So, other than Clash of Clans, I also did Minecraft. But since um, my Minecraft videos aren't really popular, I... You know, mainly do work on Curry 2. So what games are you thinking about doing next? Definitely Minecraft. And yeah, so Minecraft is a really, really fun game. You don't really have an objective in Minecraft except to, you know, just stay alive and don't get killed by stupid stuff like creepers and zombies and stuff. So I, I like that freedom. I like that freedom in Minecraft and... If you guys don't mind, you know, if you guys just watch my videos, my Minecraft videos for God's sake, then I would be a very, very happy person. So anyways, um, the next question is from Dutch. What the? Oh my God. How do you pronounce this name? Dutch Ritter 12. I'm sorry if I pronounced it, pronounced it wrong. What country do you hate the most in World Conqueror 2? Definitely Norway. Yeah, because they just leave the cities undefended for everyone else to take. So, definitely Norway. Marga Konstinuk, uh, um, okay, she, she, he or she, uh, her question, his or her question got chosen by me. When we stop to be a boss, the heck is that? What do you mean? Yeah. So, anyways, um, the next question is from Leman, Le, Leman, Leman, Leman. I think it's a French. I think it's French. Le Mans. I, I'm gonna stick with Le Mans. Have you ever tried to play the, as the Dutch in World Conqueror 2? And when do you start playing World Conqueror 2? Yeah, I definitely have tried to play as the Dutch in World Conqueror 2. And I, in fact, have some footage right here for you guys. So, I will show you guys the footage right now. Alright, so here we have... Um, we are playing as the Dutch in... Conquer Europe 1939 and let me be honest with you I haven't played this before so I'm probably gonna fail really really hard on this one so anyways we are at round 1 right now technology level of 3 uh, 52 income 6 industrial income and yeah it's not I wouldn't say it's a good choice to play as yes, but let's try it with a few combinations right here um, okay, so first things first, let's buy a few infantry because uh, Why did I go for two infantry because uh, They each have 60 health and Yeah, so two infantry will make up 120 health and since my infantry is level 2 with defend a sword They will be somewhere around 130 health 
I'm not sure about that value right there. But yeah, so armored car, we can only buy one, so that is 90 health. And artillery, 6 health. I mean, uh, 60 health, so it's not really a good option right here. But anyways, uh, we are going to try our best right here. And... Okay, so what we can do right now is to attack that guy. And... Let's just leave it this way. We don't really want to do anything much. So, uh, let's end the turn right here. Okay, so the Germans are attacking the Poles right now. The Danes, of course. Uh, and they are attacking us. So... Oh, okay. What did I say about that? What did I say about that? Alright, so uh, we will be playing as the Dutch in Conquer Europe 1939. And it's really, really hard. So, yeah, let's do our best right here. And, okay, so, um, I've actually done uh, two infantry units before, but, you know, I failed horribly, you know, I got defeated on round one, so, yeah, but anyways, we are going to be going for two infantries again, because, um, you know, why not? So, uh, what we want to do here, maybe... Uh, because the last time I just left it like this and I just ended the turn. So maybe... Oh my. Alright. So, hey everyone. Alex here. Welcome back to another World Conqueror 2 video. So today we'll be playing as the Dutch... In Conquer Europe 1939 and so yeah let's not talk about anything um, let's not let's, let's not uh, let's not really talk about anything that uh, we would like to do because first off we have to defend ourselves from the German tanks right here and they're like level 3 level 2 so it's really, really hard. So, um, let's try a lot with the armored car. And, okay. So, ooh, okay there. Let's try and take Hamburg, although we fail. Yeah. Trust me, I just wanted to take Hamburg. I just wanted to take Hamburg. And you... Freaking punks have to do this to me. So, yeah, that is my story of Conquer Europe 1939 as the Dutch. So, you know, it's not a really good time to really talk about. But so, yeah, and when, uh, so it's time for the second question right here. And when did you start playing World Conqueror 2? Um, two years ago? Okay, so I made the first video in somewhere around late November of 2014. And I started somewhere around... I, I started somewhere around uh, February of 2014. Yeah, that's when I started to play. And it was a, it was a tough start, but I managed to, you know, survive the, the tough start. And move on to the really really easy stuff at the end, which is to max out my commander and just trash everyone else. So yeah. So okay, here are the last two questions. So the the second last question is from Leong Daniel. Do you like alternate history? History uh in in the real world of course and mapping. So yeah, I would definitely like I would uh, I, I really like alternate history and history. So, why do I, why do I like it? So, I'll, um, first I'll talk about the history. I like history because it's... 
how do you say it? it's really really interesting and you know I, I read quite a lot quite a lot about history and yeah so I, I just like history and I'm, I, 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 I have no idea how to explain it so I'm just gonna say I'm, it's really really interesting and, and I enjoy studying history as a student and because I'm still in school now of course so yeah I really really enjoy history and alternate history of course you do you bet that is like one of my favorite things as well so why do I like alternate history it's like uh, you you're basically speculating about stuff that you know little changes that occur in history that will lead to like a really really big change like for example, what happened if the Germans won World War One? Then, of course, there will be no World War Two. But you know, in a sense, um, the world will, will not be what it's like today. And yeah, it's this really uh, these small tweaks and changes we can do to history to make like virtually an infinite number of possibilities. So and mapping, I'm not sure what that means. So I'm sorry, I can't answer you. Know, what do you like mapping? I'm not sure what is that. Like, I perceive it as making maps and stuff like that. In that case, then, not really, I guess. But, yeah. So, uh, the last question is from Eric Afandi. Can you play some strategy games like Glory of Generals or Advanced Wars? You should try. It's challenging and fun on the, on the, same, on the same time. I think it means at the same time, but whatever. So, I do play some strategy games. I, in fact, play Glory of Generals. Yes, and, but, you know, I suck at that game so much. Like, you know, I just suck at it so much. I can't even complete, like, the first five missions. Yeah, that's how suck sucky I am at Glory of Generals. And, Advanced Wars, never heard of that before. So, I do play some strategy games, in fact, for example, Clash of Clans is like, you know, it's really, really, really strategy based. Clash Royale, really strategy based as well. So, yeah, I do play them, in fact, and almost all of my games are strategy based games. So, yeah, but um, anyways, guys and girls, of course, there you have it, the Q&A right here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please do leave a like and I was... And as I've said, let's go for a really, really ambitious 1,000 sub goal right here. And to do that, I'll of course need the help, uh, need help from all of you guys out there to promote my channel and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, um, if you guys, uh, if any one of you who are watching this Q&A is new to this channel, then I strongly recommend that you do check them out first. Uh, like, no. Wait, what am I talking about? Uh, if you're new to this channel, I strongly recommend that you do check my videos out. And, you know, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Because, you know, um, I, I post stuff, like, as much as I can. And, yeah. So, don't mind my, don't mind my derpiness just, uh, just now. Because I, I was thinking about World Conqueror 2. So... Yeah, you know, every time when I say like, uh, this is part something something of a conquest, I strongly recommend that you do check them out first. Yeah, that's where I was going from. And yeah, but anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks all of you guys for watching this. Have a nice day and of course, goodbye.